are watching Big Arc TV. But you know, late night you have more of the younger generation listening to you, catering to you, what you're doing, you know. So now that you got to the friend, the afternoon drive during the weekdays, you're getting that audience that wasn't listening to you in the weekends. So now how you introducing yourself to them by going on with the youth that already know you and sticking with you. So now you got to learn how to program that time period. Over the years when I was doing that on Hot 97, you had everybody across the board doing the same thing, you know. Um, now, it got a little out of hand from quote unquote I learned that it got a lot of DJs coming in, but I don't think a lot of DJs learned how to go about the fundamentals. Either that they wasn't being shown how to play for radio, mm -hmm. or they just were gonna hold in their own way. Mm -hmm. And it was getting out of hand. And then other things was taking place as far as behind the scenes. So with that, that's when programmers across the country start to regulate. Mm -hmm. When they start to regulate, they start to play this. Mm -hmm. DJs and they play this DJs. They say, okay, this will want you to play along with else you are playing, but we still want you to go according to the course. We want you to play these hits. Right. So it's a big difference from the time when I was born on a weekend and then got to the weekday compared to years later on what the others was doing because it got out of hand. So with that playlist, were you comfortable with that? Um, I had no problem with it because I already was playing conditioned like that. Okay. If I'm already conditioned like that, why should I let it bother me? It's like people after me, they have to learn how to go about it mm -hmm. because they wasn't taught that way. I was taught that way. Now, if you was taught that way, cool, then you should know what to do. But if you wasn't taught or you was taught and you didn't care about it, you did it your way, now you're being forced, now you're being a challenge to them. For other things just to get back on the way. Right. So now you hear somebody, well, yeah, you gotta go according to learn how to work around it. Mm -hmm. That's all what it is. Would you play Cardi B? Yeah. Huh? Have, would you play Cardi B? Yeah. I have played Cardi B with a different version. Uh, and I was waiting because I know you said you wouldn't until she came out with something. So I was checking to see um, if she came out with something. Yeah, broke that yellow. Mm -hmm. I played the dance version. I got a dance mm -hmm. version of that. Of course, I honestly got to care for it. Mm -hmm. But I found some of that make it fit according to it. And then I know it became popular. Right. So when it came to a dance version of it, I got to fit that in along with everything else. Mm -hmm. That's it. I always was a person in the past that I was very bullheaded. I played with I believe it. If I don't believe it, I don't play it. A lot of people was going against it, against me on that, and they trying to sway me. I say, listen here, I don't play politics, I don't play favoritism, mm -hmm. I don't play what I believe. Because the name of the game is, at the end of the day, I got to go for what is it that's best for my show. What? Not for you, but for me, the program to the audience. If I would have been bullheaded once again, I would have not lasted this long. Absolutely. So that's, that's what I have, to, I have to stick to my mind. Mm -hmm. So what about female DJs? You weren't having any DJs? Oh, I always respected female mm -hmm. DJs. You know? I, mean, I knew female DJs from a long time before a radio. Right. Respect to the lady by the name and, uh, um, what was her name? Oh, man. I'm thinking of the lady today. But there was a, um, there was a DJ named Becky DJ Jones. We, we, rest in peace, my man Pete DJ Jones. He had a female DJ with him named Becky DJ Jones. And then within the hip, during, during the early stages of hip hop culture, you had other female DJs. You had um, a girl named Wanda D. Mm -hmm. You had a girl named Baby D that was the DJ for a group called Mercedes mm -hmm. Ladies. Mm -hmm. um, and then years later, you had Jazzy Joyce, you know, mm -hmm. and to, to this day, one of the best DJs, female DJs, I respect is Coco Chanel. Right. You know, and there's many others yeah. after them that's across the board. There's a lot of female DJs that I respect all across the board in different places. 
So you know, I always respect if you're a teacher. They don't have nothing to do with gender. Oh, it's all about the skills. I don't think they have some some respect at all. No, 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 no. Gender and and skill level is two different things. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But we want to hear that. Yeah, I understand. We want to hear that. Y'all want to hear that. I understand. We respect you all. That's cool. And shout out to Jackie Joyce, I'm actually going to be performing on one of her events coming soon. So, um, The Violators, you just did a show with them, but you're affiliated with The Violators. What is The Violators? What's the movement? The Violators, respecting The Violators. So, The Violators had started during a time when, you know, as I'm on radio, and I started doing a club called Union Square, and there was a handful of people that are Zoom Nation members that was coming following me, and they was coming to the club. And some of the members um, at that time was a um, guy named Chris Light. Yes, that's the case. Mm -hmm. That was known as Baby Chris. Him along with a guy named Dow, we call him Sneaky D. And a couple other guys, a guy named Tony, um, a guy named Romeo, and one more fellow. So, you know, they was with me, you know, they was always getting into something, you know, while they down at the club. And I gave them the name Violators. And then my friend, you know, some of them girls, they moved on, they here come two more, three more fellas by the name of Chris Ali, Big Rod, and the guy in their hands that, you know, he had Jerry Curls. And he was dark skin, so we should look at him, we call him Black Jesus. <laughs> And when they was known for moving them out of me everywhere. Mm -hmm. But um, how I took it to another height because when the group that came under me named Jungle Brothers, I needed I needed somebody to represent them on the road. So I signed Baby Chris. And Baby Chris got to learn the ropes and took it to another stage where he moved himself up to become as a business-minded person to present and, and came out with violated management and records. Okay. And he carried that name on. So, you know, once again, he got to start with somewhere, that's where he started. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the rest of the violators, you know, they still was around. They became more of, you know, business, where they got their own jobs and families and everything. But we still, as a unit, but after the passing of uh, Baby Chris, rest in peace, the remainder of the violators, they went and formed Violators Unlimited. Right. And under that umbrella, they have Violators Unlimited radio show like, on the internet. Right. So I just finished doing an interview with them, leading about my 35 years. Shout out to the Bible. Yes. Mm -hmm. I was actually on the videos. Um, but I actually gave it up too. Yes, she is. So yeah, we're family. You've been doing it for about a year and a half. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah. So what do you want us to know you as? Like when you're done with everything. Um I always gonna want you to know that I was there to help provide the sounds for your enjoyment, for your pleasure for your interests as well as educating you for stuff that you never got to hear before or learn about before that I brought to the forefront for you to, you know, identify to 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 you know pass on to the friend, everybody who's under you or no or no side of you. Um, just like any other entertainer or sport figure or anybody in their field for what they brought to the table. And you, how much you appreciate them, that's what I, I don't expect, but I will appreciate y'all to see the same in my behalf of what I did for you. Understood. And I think that's, that's a good one. Yes. Everybody loves everybody just likes you. Uncle Red, like, come on. Well, <laughs> that's one thing I learned. I think that once again, coming from my upbringing, that um, there's the elders in my family, like my aunt, for what I learned, was one of the first black females to sing opera in Carnegie Hall. Wow. And my older brother, who I say I was always in the record collection and in basketball, he's one of the first men members under Mr. Homebell Rucker, where quote unquote the Rucker tournament, mm -hmm. he was one of the first members under Mr. Rucker wow. 
Wow. That was, you know, Mr. Rucker took him under his wing. Yeah. Present. Where later on, after passing Mr. Rucker, my brother invited him over. Other members under him continue the legacy of the Rucker Tour. So when I look upon how they carry themselves as well as their legacy and their talent, I think I was passed on to read that I didn't take it for granted that you can go ahead and do what you're known for, but show some class all with it. Mm. So I took that from them. I think you can have represented that with class. And I tried to pass that over <laughs> to my friend. All the way. The young ones under me. Absolutely. So before we do go, um, just give the young ones some little bit of motivation and how they can keep going and keep pushing and just for 35 years in the game. 35 years. In radio. Not in the game, in radio. In radio. 40, 40, 40, 40, I say 43 years old you got. That's a blessing. But you know what? It's like, once again, if that's I could have been doing other things if I thought you was that. And I'm not sure. Well, we appreciate you, man. You were. Thank you. Anything else you want to say before we. Respect everybody. Much love. And um, if anybody else want to know more about me, you can go online, check me out for my bio, my bookings, and well, my social media, all under one roof. The coolest legend.com. That's cool, okay? You heard it first. Appreciate you.